Hi guys, uh, back with another kind of review. Um, this time I just thought I'd show you uh, an upgrade set which I've kind of teased a few times and shown off a couple of times but not really gone through it properly. Um, upgrade set by uh, Printformers. And um, these are, well I think they're kind of like prototype ones but uh, I thought they were worth showing off. It's an upgrade set for uh, Hardhead and Ultra Magnus. Um, I'll pop the link down below for uh, Printformers. They very kindly sent these over for me to have a look at. You get a set of uh, G1 guns for a uh, hardhead. Uh, they do also do uh, guns for Chrome Dome and all the all the other guys, and they're very nicely done. And uh, you know, um, this one's obviously done in green plastic to uh, match the G1 guns. Uh, you do. I think these got two options: either with the kind of completely round pegs, or these options here where they're slightly squared with the um, cut off bits in here. Um, I'll pop a link down below so you, any questions you can ask. So you've got the two guns like this. Um, obviously the one that I've got over here does have um, two guns with them at the, at the moment. But uh, these, uh, if you do notice, are slightly different colours where one is off the Hasbro one and one is off the Takara. Um, and obviously you don't have the same level of detail on. So if you did want a two matching guns, uh, you can obviously pick these guys up um, and then he kind of pegging his hand pretty nicely. Like that. It's quite a bright green. Um, let's uh, bring this down so you can have a look. It's quite a bright green in it. It's, it's all filled out on either side. Um, and it's quite a nice kind of quality plastic to it. There's little ridges and stuff in it, but uh, you get that with all kind of 3D printed stuff. It probably does, in my opinion, does look better than the uh, kind of original ones that you get with it. Obviously, you can get um, two ones with it and, and do it that way, uh, the way that I've done it with the Hasbro and Sakara. Or actually, you know, the you could get two to, um, Hasbro ones and pick them up that way. But I think, you know, looking at it that way, actually, it does sit in, actually, a lot better. Uh, let's kind of compare it so you have one on one hand and one on the other. Yeah, I think uh, I think I do prefer the bright against this one. Um, it's just where this is all kind of filled in. On this one, it's a little bit better. Um, and they do they do match the colour on the actual figure. But with these ones, I don't know. Perhaps it's because they um, they stand out a little bit more. That it makes it look a little bit better. Um, just in my personal opinion. And obviously, you can take these off, and you can uh, when you transform him into his uh, vehicle mode. You can store them on there as you would do normally. It's been a little while since I've transformed this guy actually, so uh, might as well get them all transformed. See if I can remember how to do it. Oh, yeah. Holding the hands. down, fold him down. Uh, I haven't, there is a KO set isn't there for Hardhead and um, I think it's Skull Smasher which is uh, Skull Cruncher. Um, I haven't got those and I don't intend on getting them just because I'm not a big fan of uh, KOs but um, I've heard they're, they're quite good. Um, and then obviously you can peg in the guns. The only problem with in this mode is you only you only really have the option to peg it in as far as I can see, just in the in the one space in here really. So you've got an option to peg it into here. I can't see that you've got uh, an option to peg it anywhere else. I guess potentially you could peg it in there. It does actually fit in there. So that's uh, another option for you. Um, or obviously, you know, you could take that out and peg one in there and uh, one in the side there. Um, I haven't got that, pulled that down properly. Yeah, so there is that. Um, obviously, you can... That's the look with it on that one. So it's definitely more, uh, you know, 
G1 toy accurate. Uh, if you do want to go down that route, I'm just seeing if there's any other way that it can peg on anywhere else. I guess you, no, it doesn't peg on there at all. No, I think that's it. Um, normally with a lot of the other ones, you've got spaces to plug them in on the side. You don't really get that with hardhead. But uh, yeah, definitely can recommend uh, uh, these if you do fancy getting hold of some G1 accurate guns. Or, you know, it may not even be have to be for your Titans Return toy. It could be actually for your uh, uh, G1 hardhead. I haven't got, the, uh, got um, that figure to hand to show you what it looks like alongside that but uh and then also as well if we're bringing ultra magnus i'll have to adjust the camera slightly for these ones um obviously you get these things on the side here i just forgot actually what a good toy ultra magnus is but uh you get this set of kind of upgraded guns here and you can just take these out and uh yeah, what he's done is, this is kind of done in a kind of white plastic. I think this does come out as well. So it's one, two, two pieces. It looks like, and this bit is painted red uh, to kind of mimic the uh, toy. Looks like you've got the option as well in um, vehicle mode to actually peg these in like that as you did on the uh, on the toy there. It does. Come on, obviously the doesn't it's not an exact match and you could paint them if you wanted to uh, and then all you can do is you can just pop these out like that if you want to those in like that. You can kind of have them pointing out a little bit if you want to. Just kind of a look on the side there. It really just depends, it really is a personal preference what you know what you prefer in terms of looks. Uh, I think I think that looks uh, pretty good. Um, do I think it looks any better? I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm just used to having these on the side here. Um, yeah I suppose it does actually look uh, a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, I guess. And you know, you can have these kind of come out a little bit, can't you? Or just up like that, if you if you prefer them like that. Uh, I think on the toy, I think we kind of had them out like that, kind of pointing t towards you. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure um, what look I prefer. They are kind of growing on me a, a little bit more. It does tidy up pretty well, I think, and go right with the with the toy. Uh, I'm not too sure about the vehicle mode. I suppose then you, it frees up these then to use them even on a like a base mode or anything else like that, because um, they could be um, if you have um, base mode for your kind of tight to return toys, you can pop these in on there anywhere along the side there. I think that would look quite smart. Or it actually frees it up to to have it as the um, as this thing here, doesn't it? Uh, is it this these bits that you peg together to make the um, to make that I think. I can't really remember, was it like that? Do you know what? It's been such a long time since I messed around with this one, I'm not, I can hardly remember what it goes like. Perhaps it's like that, I'm not entirely sure. can't remember exactly what it, it went like, but uh, you could have him kind of holding this in one hand if you wanted to, and then uh, and then holding the other bits on the side. I think it's actually quite a, a 
a good improvement with those bits on the side there. Um, and then, like I said, in vehicle mode, they just peg onto the top here, so you can have have them facing forward at the top there. What I may do is just get quickly get that um, him transformed into his vehicle mode, just so you can see what that looks like with those on as well. So I'll try my best to uh, transform this guy as quickly as possible. And get the side guy out. And I've got the this guy has since been retooled for the uh, Optimus Prime Power Master one. And of course you get this guy in here as well. So I may actually uh, leave him out actually. <clears throat> Uh, so this bit uh, pegs in, like that I think, and then these bits close over, this bit comes round like this, you hear a banging noise like that um, in the background, that'll be my son messing about outside with the football, it's where we are at the moment, we've got uh, all the toys and stuff in their garage. So uh, he's banging the football against the garage, so this is uh, very thoughtful of him. <laughs> Just unravel all of this here. And where does it get pegged into? I think it fits into there. Like that, I think. Struggle to remember. Uh, it's been such a while since I've transformed this guy. Uh, the one thing I do like about this is they're not. There isn't as much kind of leg kibble with this guy as there is with the um, with the other ones. Um, I really struggle with the um, Optimus Prime one just because uh, you can't really move his leg for all the kind of stuff around the outside of him. So uh, then, what you want to do is kind of bring these bits up back here. I know you've probably seen this uh, transformation a hundred times, so I'm just kind of whizzing through it. Uh, it's not really a review of Ultra Magnus, it's a review of those upgrade sets. So uh, I think I've already got a review of this guy somewhere, so if you do want to check that out, you can do. Hopefully it's a little bit more slick than uh, what I'm doing now. Or it might not be, uh, who knows. <laughs> Peg these down. Like this, bring these bits round here like that. Ah, yeah, these bits come down. That's what they do, and peg into there like so. Bring them down, peg them in like so, and then uh, you're gonna just bring these rounds here, peg these. And like that, I think. I know these bits pegged together. Just trying to think about these bits here. Ah, uh, these bits peg round like that. That's it. like that on the other side and then these bits kind of peg together. If I can get them lined up. Like that on either, either side. This bit will peg in here like that. These bits will come up and hopefully just slot in underneath here underneath here like that. So we've got Ultra Magnus there all done and uh, normally what you would have <clears throat> is uh, the guns would go, these bits would go on the side here like this. Like that. Um, but what you can do with this set is you can get hold of your these here and uh, I uh, pick them on the front here like that. So it gives you a more kind of cartoon, well not cartoon, a uh, toy look to it. 
with uh, being able to do that. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty cool. It's a, a neat little idea. And if you don't want that, <clears throat> you can go ahead and pop these on the side. With these being two pieces, that bit has come undone a few times. But uh, and with the white, I think uh, you can get away with actually uh, not. Um, not painting that. I think that looks uh, pretty decent in actual fact. And then if you wanted to, you can always peg these onto the side here as well. And you can have a uh, double uh, the blasters. Uh, these are supposed to peg onto the side, but uh, there are a few extra supports for them. So if you did want to, you could actually have him completely armoured up and have one on that side and one on the other, like so. And that is it. It's a Titans Returns upgrade set for uh, Hardhead and uh, Ultra Magnus. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the review and hope it's useful. I'll pop down all the links down below so you can uh, check it all out. Uh, thanks for watching and see you all soon. Bye bye.